Welcome back everybody. In the previous videos, we created this app that would ask someone for their name, get their user input, and then print out their name. So that is where we are so far in our Java programming, but we really need to understand some more of the basic concepts in order for us to build more complex applications. So with that, we're gonna dive in. I just wanted to first give a special shout out and thank you to our sponsor, Pramp. Pramp is a website that allows you to do peer-to-peer -peer interviewing to prepare for technical interviews in data structures and algorithms, data science, and more. Definitely a really sweet app because you get to interview people as well as get interviewed, so you get to see both the, the interviewer and the inter or interviewee point of view. And uh, I use this app to really help me prepare for a C++ interview, but you can also use Java and all kinds of other programming languages. Go check that out. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. As a developer, it will definitely change your life. Okay, so moving on. What are we gonna be talking about today? Well, so far we have all this code here, and I think as, as we eventually build more complex applications, we'll start modulating our code, making it more like small individual pieces versus just putting everything inside of this main method. It's not really the best practice. So the main method is more just like this place to start, but eventually you're going to break out into your own methods and just keep everything real organized. But as we're going through some of the concepts of Java, we're not going to necessarily break out into all these methods just because I wanna go through some really simple examples and just talk about the basic fundamental concepts of Java. So with that, we're gonna be talking about variables. So we've created variables. So here you can see we created this scanner variable. It's of type scanner. And we then use this scanner variable later when we uh, want to get a new line. So we get next line. So that's an example use of a variable, but there is a lot more stuff we can do with variables. The point of a variable is it allows us to store information in some name, so then we can easily refer back to it later. Another example we went through earlier is that we can create a string variable like so. This is a string. In this example, we call this string constructor, which will return us a string, and we assign it to this variable named string. So anytime we wanna reference it, we can just do Let's say we want to print line. Uh, well, we can just reference that string variable here. And when we execute this, all right, so it says this is a string. So it's printing the string variable right here. And we're referencing this by name. So rather than taking this here and putting that inside of this print line like this, which is okay, you can do that that is just not as clear and simple as using variables once we start getting into more complex coding. So one thing I wanted to mention is that variables can be used in what's known as an expression. So an expression is basically just when you combine values. So for example, I could say string plus, and then put a smiley face, for example. And I'm going to get rid of all this stuff here. And now you can see that this expression is evaluated. So we have the first variable string, which is which is, has this value, and then we're basically concatenating, which is the technical word of combining two strings. We're concatenating, it's, it's a hard word to say, the smiley face to this original string. So this thing here, this is known as an expression. So just for some new vocabulary, we have a variable which stores some value and then we have an expression which evaluates to a value. So, so far you understand how to create objects. We created this string object, and then you know how to use the variable name inside of an expression. So what about this plus sign? This is known as an operator. And what an operator does is it will work on operands to produce a value. So the operators make the expression possible. So if that makes absolutely no sense, basically the plus symbol is going to take one piece of data known as an operand and do something with it with another piece of data, an operand. So two operands being worked on together by this thing called an operator. So the other term is operand, and this is the, the thing, <laughs> I don't know how to define this, or the, the things the operator works on. 
as we start making some sweet apps, we're gonna find that, hey, building these strings this way is like pff, a huge pain in the butt. Like, dude, I have to type string like three times <laughs> and four times if we're using it in the string. It's just really complicated. So Java has created a more simple way to create strings and the way this works is you just type string, you still need that data type, and then you give it a name. Uh, shoot, I don't know what to name it. <laughs> Easier. And then all you have to do is just put the value of the string in quotes. Wow so much easier. These ultimately work the same way. There's nothing different about them. It's just the way we define them is just a little bit different in the syntax because we're using a shorthand version here. So now I wanna talk about what kind of things can we assign to a string. In this scenario, we're assigning what's known as a literal. So that's another word for you guys. <laughs> in case you haven't figured out, if you're new to programming, there's a lot of vocabulary. And honestly, that's just one of the biggest barriers. If you just learn the vocabulary, you'll be good to go. <laughs> All right, so let's go up here we can have literals, which is just the value. So for example, here's a value, you know, here's another value. That is in contrast to a variable, which we talked about. So this is a variable, it's not a literal. So anytime we just put the value just like that, that is known as a literal. It's literally just a value, literally. It's, it's really simple. So you can assign a literal to a variable, that's what we're doing in this case. We're assigning this string literal to easier, but we can also use expressions to assign to variables. So for example, I can come in here and put a plus sign after our string literal, and I can put a smiley face. You know, gotta love them smiley faces. We can save that, and then what we can do is we can print out that string right there, easier. And now let's run this sucker. Boom, there we go. So what we just did is we combined a string literal with another string literal. And when we combine two literals, that is known as an expression. What do expressions do? They evaluate to a value. So the ultimate value was just one string. Wow, that was easy. Not only can you use multiple literals in an expression, but you can also use variables here. So for example, I could say string, just like that. Okay, so now we're combining this literal here with the string variable up here. So if everything goes right, it should say, wow, that was easy. This is a string. <laughs> Let's check it out. Yep, and it works. Now for each one of the things we've talked about in this video, there is a lot of information on. So for example, this operator, well, we can go in a lot of depth on operators. There's all different types of operators. Expressions, we can talk about, you know, how, how expressions are evaluated. You know, we could talk about variables and the different types of variables. There's a whole lot more information that you can learn about this, but personally, I just think it's helpful if you learn the basics and kind of get like, you know, the, the thousand foot view before learning like all the super itty gritty details. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go into the next video and we're gonna be talking about, uh, what do I wanna talk about today? I think we're gonna talk about something cool. So yeah, definitely go check it out. <laughs> Also check out the links in the description. I'll have a link to a blog as well as the Java crash course and a link to the sponsor. So thanks guys. If you've enjoyed this content, please be sure to subscribe. It would definitely mean a lot to me. All right, peace out.